Well, I think about, I've thought a lot about the passage in Peter where it says to be holy. It says, be holy as I am holy. So if you believe that people are created in the image of God, it means to reflect his moral character. We're to be like him morally. Truthful, honest, generous, loving, kind, those kinds of things. So I can say, it might be surprising to people, that, that I've been holy. Completely holy. Maybe for only two or three minutes at a time. But I think that's, that's what he wants. He wants us to move toward being like him and to try to be consistent. He understands that we're not, we're imperfect and we're going to fail in some ways. That's why it says, if we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive our sins and cleanse us. We have a tendency to hold on to our mistakes and make ourselves feel unclean when he constantly makes us clean all over again. So I go through the day and I'm thinking of uh, God and how he wants me to be and I'm being gracious and kind and loving and then somebody cuts me off in traffic. <laughs> and I don't respond as I ought to. And I ask for his forgiveness and I'm clean again and I get to start again. So this call to be perfect and to be holy is a call to a goal that we're to keep in mind and at the same time to remember that we have a gracious loving father who understands our weakness he loves us he's not trying to make us feel miserable because we fail he's trying to make us feel fulfilled when we're obedient 